Hey everyone, this is Shirley. I'm Christy, what's good people? What's good in the neighborhood? And this is our review of My Hero Academia, season seven, episode seven, Inflation. And of course this is Geek as Shack because I almost forgot to name our podcast, which is on Apple Podcasts and YouTube. Check us out, review, yeah, yeah. like, um, listen, subscribe, like, Put comments in the chat, yo. Nobody likes to talk to us. Like, come on now. I know. Talk to us. And yo, you can listen while you're cooking or while you're just riding on the bus. <laughs> now we really oh, like push it. We're like, come on, come on. Let me let's stop. go. Uh-huh. Anyways, yes, we've been reviewing um, my hero. So this is episode seven, inflation. Like I said, and let's get into it. Uh, so basically, this is like it starts off with like a flashback in a sense of like explaining the plan, and. I get it. They have to do recaps a little bit because it's like it's kind of confusing and the manga was kind of confusing how to like how this plan of like separating the villains with the heroes and who's fighting who was kind of like it it was a great plan, but it was a little like, whoa, what's going on? So basically the plan was created by um, Sukuluchi, who's the detective and All Might's friend, All Might and Aizawa. Hey, Uh, (laughs) anyways, it's five locations, right? Go for it. Five locations? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you were to say something? No, no. I was just going to say, like, you, said, you got you're... this. Oh, okay. It's five locations. Basically, they're splitting up the villains, um, you know. And so Shigaraki's a UA, like the coffin in the sky. That's what they call it. That's really scary. Um, so basically, all for one is in Gunga Villa, right? Dobby is in uh, Kamino Ward. Toga is o- Oku? Island? Okupto mm. Island? Well, yeah. I think that's how you say it. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. No, no, no. That's pretty good. Okay. That's how I would say um, it. Um, the remaining villains are... <coughs> sorry. Are, uh, the remaining villains are transported to Dagoba National Stadium? Okay. And the villains... I'm so sorry. If I'm messing up the words, please forgive me and please correct me. Um, and the villains that were unable to split up, they will continue to use um, the system Troy, which was to lock them up and then transport them and attack with the remaining hero teams. And then um, Gagancho Machio's at Jakku Hospital and Kuragiri's at Central Hospital. And they keep it all for one in Shigaraki, like 10 come up kilometers apart okay people it's a lot it's a lot i know but it's going to be worth it because there's going to be different storylines and you're going to see your favorite characters here and there fighting it's going to be great um i'm already happy that they separated all for one and well they have to because they have that connection and you know because basically sure what is is it is it like a subconscious connection or i I don't know all for one is like taking over shigaraki's body i know well, like his body him. and his, his consciousness. He was I'm already an ass kind of, enough. Yeah. Now he's got a bigger ass coming in there and taking over. Yo, I'm, so, okay. I'm just <laughs> voting. Seat. But yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm I, this is a great plan because I mentioned this in our last review for episode six that it's like okay now we can focus on one on one fights with like different heroes and the villains and stuff because it could be it becomes too much it becomes too much to like. For your eye to like focus on one spot. It's like, yeah. okay, so I really like this. But what happened in today's episode? Okay, that was the flashback explaining that. All my was explaining that. And so then we go to present time and then they show in UA and Sugar Rocky's got like all those fingers coming out. And <laughs> like, which this, is disgusting. Basically, it's like a growth. It's like a the physical body growth because I guess um so it's not a cork is that what it's they not were yeah Sugar Rocket was because all the the team in UA were like is this like a a cork thing and it was like no I guess Sugar Rocky who's the evil doctor basically um d- did something to his body to like this physical growth type of thing. That he could stand a lot of fingers, and that's the attack that you see, which was CGI, really, when they were, like, doing the attack, the animation, which was... A, mm-hmm. The animation was really good. Just shout out to them. Yes. Um, so, basically, to the team. And, um, basically, it's because Shigaraki has so much, like, powers to, like, oh, so many courts because of all from one taking over his body and stuff. So, that's why they're, like, tra- they were transforming his body and stuff. Ooh. Like, before... Remember season six, mm-hmm. 
that's what he was doing, and but his body wasn't ready. Now his body is a hundred percent ready. No, no, you know what it reminds me of Chucky and that scene where he like melts and there's a whole bunch of other like doll parts of the same doll and he's like melting. Anyway, it's it's disgusting. That's probably why you don't remember it. I actually don't remember that. <laughs> I will look for a picture because it's disgusting, <laughs> I and I want you to. See I'm like, what I'm, I'm trying to think in my like, head right now. Which which is the third movie? I don't even remember which movie. It was. I don't remember, but I do want to see this Chucky show. He was in the factory show. again, and they burned him. That wasn't the third movie. That was. In, oh no no I don't no no! Was it the remake that came out recently? I have no idea. And Mark Hamilton, Hamilton, mm. Mark. Man, what the hell is the guy like, who plays Luke Skywalker? Oh, my God. Mark Hamill. Hamill. Am I saying it right? Mm. Mm. Sorry. Um, he okay. voiced it. But now Chucky let's... remake, but I don't, I don't know if it's that one. Anyways, let's go back. we should move on to Miracle, because she's the one getting attacked by these finger hands. <laughs> yes. Oh, Miracle and Bakugo's, like, dynamic. Just fucking love it. And you need more of that, Horikoshi. Like, when he brought in the manga, it was dope. And, like, the anime, come on, bring some more scenes with them. I know, but I, is what what I laughed, I laughed at it because I was like, is Bakugo really telling her to, like, don't go wild? Because like, he's she, like, go wild, too. He's like, no, I'm a, in this, too. No, because he's the he one that's the usually thing. the one that does and steps out from the team that's and does what, his own thing. And there, Miracle's doing the same thing. And now he's like, don't do that. But it's oh. funny, they're both saying that because she knows that too. I know. <laughs> so it's like that was a hilarious one. That was so great because they were like matching each other's energy. It was like very like older sibling, younger sibling vibes. I loved it. Mm-hmm. And then how they ganged up on Genus. And he was like, hey, and they were like, Whoa. Like, Whoa. <laughs> like that was so Yeah, funny. I can't take down best genus now. Don't try. Anyways, the dynamic was great. Miracle's amazing. Bakugo was amazing. But what amazing. she calls him, though. She oh, d- Dynamite Mighty or something like that, I which was, was like, hilarious. That reminds me of that's, my nickname, that's Bakugo's which is new Mighty. hero name. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's Mighty. That's yeah. your, your my nickname. sorority yeah. name, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, that was amazing. So, But basically, the main plot of this episode is like Toga's confession to um, Deku about being her boyfriend like really yeah <laughs> i mean i'm just saying deco was totally bothered by it he was all red and like yelling he at like her a strawberry, what yeah. was it that it he was, was he was like he was like yelling boyfriend, like, like amusement what? park we go to a music park hold that was hands. cute he was like a boyfriend like, where you take them to the amusement park like hold hands and get crepes and share a crepe together i was like that is such a teenage thing to say that that's is so cute cute deco's so innocent but, still but also it's the like, more importantly, it's Toga, you know, her love for not only Deku, of course, because she confessed him, but it's Ochako, because she loves both of them. She loves Ochako and Deku. And it's like this realization that they, none of them, to her, in, you know, what she's seeing is that they're not going to help her. So why the F do I have to, like, care about this world of nobody, especially the two people yeah. I love don't care about me? Yeah, and, and she's, bit, yeah. for a moment she's like, oh, they're, they're like her parents. Yeah, which they're, was freaking which sad. Her parents did sad. not accept her. Yeah, and well, they're like sad. saying, be normal, whatever that is, you know. And, you know, because Toga is also bisexual as well, yeah. through her love for Ochako and, and, and um, to, um, Deku, I was about to say, but Toga. Well, and then it's like, what's be normal? Like, I hate when people say that even to humans. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. But it's like, what is normal? And in all essence, her eating someone is normal because that's what she does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like sucking her, the blood. Sucking that's the blood. The cork. So she didn't really get therapy for that. Yeah. You but know, I'm just saying that's society, of course. That's what she know. does. Isn't that normal for her? Like, what's normal uh, in this society? I don't know. I really don't know what. Do, what do you mean? What like what's normal for this society? Yeah, because that's normal. That's her normal. That's what I'm trying to oh, say. Oh, whatever, you know, so, like you know what society people. seen normal and stuff. Oh, in in the my hero world, I think yeah. you meant in <laughs> oh, no. world. I was no, like, no, wait, I'm wait, wait, wait. About my hero. Oh, I got confused for a I second. Know, where you at? Somebody, because we're in the studio, of course, and you see us. Hello, look how beautiful we look. <laughs> and somebody's like recording Which us on the other way, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> What? They were recording? Wait, they were recording us, which was weird. But anyways, yeah, back to the exactly. review. And so, yeah, because they're on the island with uh, Gor- 
gang orca who's like fighting and stuff like that. Ocha- and, and Sue comes in and saves the day, you know, because Ochako kind of like stabs. I mean, Toga stabs Ochako and Sue being the best, the bestie, the best friend. She's like, Deku, you need to get the f- out of here. Like, let's go. You I need love to Sue. save Shigaraki. You know, Ochako knows Toga. You know, those ha- Toga Ochako vibes. We, we, we loving that. <laughs> and and Sue's like, no, no, no. We're we not here for this love shit. Let's go. We, we got a job to do right now. Exactly. You know? And, you know, Ochako's like, no, this was just because she got stabbed by Toga, you know. Hard love. Hard love. <laughs> um, well, it's like, no, I Deku, love. I got this. You got to go. You know, because Deku does want to leave because he's worried. And then Deku worried. flies off. He <laughs> flies off really, really fast. Like, shoo. With the part feet. with the seagull was mad funny. And it was so funny in the manga because the... It was like a long like manga shot of like the seagull like they have a frame of it in the like manga. what the f- <laughs> like good. I didn't do well but that shit was funny with the seagull like because okay. it's like that goes fine like Superman like right. really quickly cool yes cool. okay yes and then it goes into basically like the end of it of what's gonna come in episode eight which is the Dobby and Shoto fight I mean like come on we hyped we hyped as hell I mean they even did a visual poster of it they they got a visual poster for the next episode that's how hyped they are they're also doing a live event with the voice actors when where in Japan dude oh I was like, <laughs> She's like, well, I guess we got to go to where Japan. Where we going? Like, okay. I was like, there's a great reason to go to Japan now. <laughs> well, I wanted to go to Japan, but hopefully. But anyways, we'll back start. to the story. But yes. Dobby's already burnt the city. <laughs> yes, know. it's burnt as hell. <laughs> the animation was really good there. And, you know, Dobby's talking. Mm-hmm. He's he's sad and because he was like, yo, where's Endeavor? I thought he was going to fight like, me. He really He's, wanted to fight Endeavor. Yeah, because I feel it, bad for that. He should have had it. That. Basically, to Dobby, it's like, oh, shit. He's not giving me his attention again. Kind of like what he did when he was a he kid. kid, you know. After a while. So that's, like, very upsetting. And it's kind of sad for, for Dobby and stuff. And Shoto's like, no. And um, I'm here to fight you. And Dobby's like... Oh, because you're being a good soldier. You're doing what dad said. And and Shoto, I love Shoto's agency. He's like, no, I choose to be here because you are my brother. And I want to be here to fight you. Yeah. And basically help him, too. Ah, sometimes, don't you want you can fight your sibling? Bam, bam, bam. Let me stop. I mean, not, because, mm, not with all that trauma they went through. No, 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 no. But sometimes, That's you know, you just want to duke it out and just let out all the stress. Yeah, sometimes you do have to fight. I'm not going to lie. You do have to fight. No, yeah, fighting is just as important. You know, but sometimes. I'm it's not going to lie. way of to get yeah. out, you know, what you're going through. I'm not going to lie. I did want to see Endeavor and Dobby duke it out. Ooh, and mm, I don't want to say anything. Cause I, I don't want to say anything because that is a stuff. manga spoiler that I know. Okay. No, I want to say shit. Don't say nothing. I don't want to say shit, but I'm hyped that... <laughs> But, you know, Shoto looks sad. He was like, well, why? You could tell Shoto was sad. He's hurting because he's like, why you didn't come back? And I was like, damn, that hit. Because it's like, what happened? Why you couldn't come back? And then this is when Dobby goes into like, yo, you want to hit my back? Sorry, I see what it is. Like, this shit is going to get sad oh, man. <laughs> and depressing. Oh. And that's where next episode eight is going to go into. I and I can't I can watch that. wait. And let me just give a shout out to Yuki, the composer. The music was fucking beautiful here. Yuki is always hitting it. He's always hitting it. And especially doing that Dobby and Shoto like portion, like legit amazing. Like you just felt like the beautiful I... hauntingness of it. Wow. Wow. She said it all. Pretty much. Okay. So that is our review of episode seven. And we're yeah. going to be back. You're not going to see our beautiful faces for episode seven. We don't have the studio. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so we're kind of going to be in and out of the studio maybe once or twice and, uh, a month. And then, you're you know. see us. And then yeah. you'll see us. Yeah. But honestly, do you really need to see us? <laughs> I like yeah. that the video, you can see a thumbs up. <laughs> like, it's just like, what? what? You see? Yeah. <laughs> What's that about? Anyway. But anyways, yes, Weird. this is our review. We'll be back next Saturday. We'll review episode eight. 
And this is our review of episode seven. Like, subscribe. Peace out. My hero's amazing. Yeah. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We're at Geek Edge Chat. And Twitter as well. Geek Edge Chat yeah. as well. And follow our YouTube channel. Geek Edge Chat. And thank you for all the views lately. We've been. Yeah. We haven't been around. But we've gotten some yeah, views. Yeah, we back. And exactly. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Actually, just listening because. 